Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to another Warhammer 2 custom map scenario battle sent in to me by my Discord. If you guys want to be a part of these battles, then make sure to go ahead and look in the description down below and join the Discord. There's always people looking for battles, and we're always looking for more people to join these battles. So today's battle, we have a Lizardmen Fortress as they have to go ahead and try and defend their ritual atop these huge stairs as the Witch King himself is leading this army to overwhelm the defences and take over this ritual and destroy it if he can. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at the custom map itself, then we'll take a look at the notable units in both armies, and then we'll get the battle started. So taking a look at the map, we'll go ahead and see that it has an outer wall to begin with. You can see it runs all the way around the city itself. Um, then as we make our way back through this wall, we have a lot of like choke points where the Lizardmen can actually funnel the enemies forward. I'm pretty sure they can actually also climb these stairs as well and fight up over by these temples, which is pretty cool. But the notable stuff in the settlement are these capture points. So we have the first capture point right here, which can be kind of intercepted by freeways. They can completely surround this if they need to. But the Lizardmen can still hold this. Then as we make our way up to the final capture point, we have these really interesting stairs which lead their way up. And you, again, you can kind of make your way up through three different ways. Uh, one on this left, one in the center. And then one over here on this side, which is really cool. I like, love the way the modder has done that. And I also love the way the modder has these kind of temples, which again can all be fought over in the battle, which is just really, really interesting. I like that a lot. I also like this little pool over here, like this portal. I don't even know what it is, but it looks really cool and mystical and definitely very, very lizard menish. So let's go ahead and get started uh, by looking at the units, just seeing what the interesting uh, things that people are bringing. Now, we are using some mods in this uh, replay. I'll link all of them down below in the description. But obviously, the notable units for the Dark Elves are going to be these uh, Black Guard of Nagaron and obviously also the Executioners. Some really, really strong heavy infantry able to deal with whatever the Lizardmen can throw at them. I'm also surprised to see a lot of these Dark Riders on the battlefield, obviously this being a seed battle. However, I can imagine they can be really, really useful once they do break down a few of the gates and kind of just swarm into the city and use all them avenues. We also have some of the Witch Rangers. Again, obviously, as you can see, we are using mods to add additional units into this battle. Um, along with some more Bleak Swords, that's going to be the standard infantry for the Dark Elves. And then finally, we have some more Black Guard and obviously a ton of these Executioners, as well as the Witch Guard Spears as well, who look pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to lie, they do look pretty badass as well. So if we take a look at the Lizard Men, I think these guys have the most notable custom units that we're using. Uh, however, you know, their main bat like battle line are going to be made up of Temple Guard, a really, really sturdy heavy infantry, which will do plenty of devastation damage to the enemy. We also have a regeneration crystal, along with some elite skink skirmishers. These guys are looking pretty cool. I love their feathers, making them look very feral. Then we also actually have some feral carnosaurs over here. These are the ancient carnosaurs. Uh, looking very cool. You can definitely see that age showing over there. Then finally, as we make our way back here, we actually do have a blessed carnosaur. I love the pattern. Uh, along with crop guard. No, just a scarred veteran, actually. More elite skinks, um, along with some blessed temple guard. Now, these guys are just a little bit better than the normal ones, as they have been blessed. The wall is scattered with more and more temple guard. Then finally, as we make our way back to the kind of the last stand, almost the last defense, we have some temple guard club veterans. These guys are obviously better at blunt and I imagine armor piercing. And we continue to make our way back. We have the temple old elite guard. Only 50 of them in a unit, so they must pack a punch. That is for sure. And then finally, we have the uh, elite skink uh, javelins and then the last stand up there. So cool. Let's go ahead and just get this bad boy started. Enough talking. Let's see some action. And I oh, that is so cool. Look at that. I love the way. Is it? Yeah, it's not just the temple guard. I love that. That's such a cool look right there. Just seeing the blue shine. That is really cool. So the battle is going to be getting kicked off as the Dark Elves do move all of their siege equipment towards the front lines of the Lizardmen, as the Lizardmen do like to hold it. And I also love that we have lightning going on in the background. The artillery is coming in as well from the repeated bolt throwers. They're going to be trying to clear out the walls if they can. You can see a few shots coming in. Actually finding you know, a couple hits off from the Temple Guard. Nothing too crazy though. I imagine their main goal is just to really kind of soften up the walls. If they can maybe take down a, uh, a, a unit, maybe even a tower or two. But if you guys are enjoying these custom map battles, make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. It really does let me know that you guys are enjoying that and you do want to see more over other content. So yeah, if you, if you are enjoying these, obviously drop a like and a comment down below. I'd really, really appreciate it. I also love the way that this kind of thing just like kind of curves around. That's pretty cool. 
as all the siege towers do get closer and closer to the walls themselves. And then the real fighting is going to begin. The skink javelins are throwing their javelins, uh, obviously, throwing their javelins down on this Hydra and actually doing quite a lot of damage. But the Hydra's main goal is going to be to smash down this gate. Once the gate goes down, that's going to give them a great advantage just to funnel into the city with everything they have. A few javelins are still going off, obviously using the, the pits there, but nothing too crazy. And here we go. The defense for the city is about to truly begin as we do have the lizard men and the towers getting ready to overwhelm the defenses. Here we go. The siege towers are now down. I imagine we will be seeing plenty of dark elves come flying out of them siege towers. At the moment, they've got a bit of stage fight, but here we go. The battle for the walls has now begun. We also have this black dragon. I think this is Malekith himself actually leading the assault, throwing some dragon breath down on the city. And the walls are going to be carnage right now, I imagine. As every strength of the Dark Elves comes flying through these walls. The crossbow bolts just going in throughout the city. That looks absolutely crazy as the thunder is just going off in the background. <clears throat> The Executioners have made an easy way in onto the walls. And these Executioners are going to be so deadly once they start cutting through. And the fact that they've made such an easy presence into the wall is going to be really hard for these Temple Guard to deal with them. You can see they are trying their best. Oh, we also have a lot of these Skinks as well throwing their Javelins up there. Or maybe just one unit. But if these Skinks can get a lot of these Javelins off, they can probably disintegrate a unit of the Dark Elf. Especially if they're lightly armored as well. Which I imagine that this unit is. Oh, this is Executioners as well. Well, yeah, so this is perfect. Getting these javelins off is going to be doing a lot of damage to the executioners. And you can see the morale is also starting to go down as well as more and more of these javelins come flying in. I'm surprised that the gates have not been gone down yet. We do have a battering ram making their way, as I say that, to the front of the Lizard Men Gate, which is actually almost down as well due to the sheer amount of artillery. Murderous Prowess is getting up there, 900 kills, so they're halfway there almost. And there we have it, the gate has gone down. It's going to be up to the Lizard Men to really kind of load up their shield walls, get ready to withstand anything that comes through this gate. And I imagine the Executioners, along with a lot of the cavalry as well, will be the ones pouring through it. There we go, the Executioners being the first one in. Are we going to get a counter charge at all, I wonder? By the looks of it, we're not going to get a counter charge. However, they are going to be holding firm. I'm not sure if the Temple Guard actually get charge resistance. By the looks of it, they are going to be holding firm. We also saw the gatehouse actually getting a bit destroyed over here. A few of the, the kind of defenses right here just collapsed right there, which is not too good. We make our way over to the far right-hand side. We can see that the forces are still fighting hard, and more men have managed to break their way through the defense itself. The Croxagors are going to be having a great matchup here against the Executioners. However, when the Black Guards start getting involved, that's going to be much more difficult for them. We actually do have some of the Executioners back here again. And these aren't the best units to be coming up against the, uh, the Dinosaurs. You, mean, you can see how strong them Croxagors just, you know, with one clean swang, swing right there. Absolutely ruining about, about six or seven of them. And the Ancient Kynosaurs as well are just huge monsters on the battlefield. However, it does look like that the Dark Elves are making their way through the fortress itself. Especially with using these black dragons to come around here, harass the skinks. Obviously, if the skinks do get you know, a couple volleys off, that's going to be great. However, the hides of the black dragon are very, very tough. And you can see their HP is actually very, very low. These javelins have done a great job. I take yes. back everything I said. One more throw will actually kill it, I think. Luckily, it does manage to escape, though. However, Murder's Prowess is about to be popped. And as you can see, even if the gate defenses are going well, the wall defenses are not. The Dark Elves have overwhelmed these walls on several positions. Not only one position, but pretty much all of them. And now we're going to be seeing the elite Murder's Prowess just being popped off here as they just run through the defenses. I imagine this is going to be where the Dark Elves really want to try and commit their strongest forces here and use this as best as possible as we do see that Hydra again ripping through the Temple Guard. 
Lots of these javelins, though. I'm really impressed by the skink javelins. Oh, it's so annoying. I'm sorry, guys. The music sometimes really messes up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the music and just put my own music over it. Sometimes in these custom map battles, the music and the sounds get really glitchy. And I do apologize if it is annoying. Um, I'll just put my own music over the battle and hopefully that'll be okay. Uh, we are going to be getting a, a nice little Vortex spell going off there. Or a Comet of Kathandora, sorry. As well as a Fire Breath as well from Malekith there. Not getting too many kills, but that Comet of Kathandora was pretty nice on top of the Executioners and, uh, and the Witch Guard as well. How are the Temple God actually doing? Okay, actually, I'm surprised. I'm impressed by how much they've hold. Are we getting another Comet of Kathandora going down here? Oh, no, we're getting a Chain Lightning. But it looks like the Chain Lightning is actually going through the Lizard Men. And that's actually going to route the unit of Temple Guard. That sucks. Oh, that's so annoying. If it would have just gone the other way, it could have got so many kills as a fresh unit of Witch Guard come flying through. The Black Dragon here just burning away at these Skinks as well as all the crossbows. So if we take a little zoom out shot of the battlefield... We can see that the Dark Elves look like they are breaking through fairly nicely on the defences. Obviously taking the walls now. I think there's a few kind of, yeah, a few little vanguards for the uh, Temple Guard which are still remaining. Actually a Carnosaur who is part of the wall right there through the gatehouse. Oh my god, the game does not like that one bit. I do apologise for these sounds, but it's, it's too much of an epic battle not to show you guys this. It's just unfortunate the sound is as messed up as it is. But yeah, you can see that the kind of sword is trying to kind of slot the defenses. Oh my, it just does not like it when I'm over there. So we, I guess we will avoid it for now. God, hopefully they fix stuff like that, like the sound these things and stuff. Because it's just so annoying when it, when it does happen like that. Hopefully it's not too bad and my music over the top is good enough. We're continuing to look on the front lines. We can see that the skink javelins are actually having to go into the engagement now. Okay, sorry guys, I'm going to have to uh, make it even quieter because that is actually really annoying. I don't want it to negatively affect the, um, the battle. So we're just going to make it really quiet. Sorry if you can't really hear it, but I think I'd rather that and just have my music playing over the top than having the uh, sounds being as messed up as they are. But yeah, you can really see that the Witch Elves are moving in. The Pterodon Riders have actually made their way up, and this is going to be great. Having the Pterodon Riders up here, I'm going to be getting a lot of kills off onto the, the Javelins, and um, getting loads of kills off on the Bleak Swords as well, because they obviously throw their explosive satchels down there, and they do a lot of damage, I'm not going to lie. And I, I think the Lizardmen are in a really good situation right here. They're actually committing more of their Javelins to the front line. They have a few kind of men who have been pushed back and falling back. We can see this blessed Carnosaur here. But this is like almost a fresh unit of Skink Javelins. And these guys seem to be doing a lot of damage to the front line. So if they can make their way up here, get some pretty nice damage on these Black Dragons, then that'd be great. A Plague of Domination has been dropped off on these guys, lowering everyone's morale uh, for the enemy, which is good if they can maybe route them. We're just going to have a, a couple units of these Temple Guards rejoining the fight here. Another explosion going off there. Unfortunately, not hitting any of these skinks. It was kind of a little bit too late. We also actually have a general. Uh, we actually have Krokgar making his way to kind of sturdy up the defenses right now as we make our way back to this engagement. I love the way that they can keep going up and down these stairs. It's really, really cool. However, the Black Guard are really starting to get stuck in and whittle down the HP of these monsters. This regeneration crystal is going down. As the Black Guard are surrounding it. And I think that's what we're going to really start to see. Is the battle maybe swaying in the favour of the Dark Elves. As the defences do start to get overwhelmed. As the HP of their dinosaurs do start to drop. Because a lot of them are just have just gone mad. And obviously gone out of control. Meaning that they can't be, they can't be used or, or moved anywhere on the battlefield. So because of that the Black Guard are going to have an easy task of pinning them down. And then slowly just surrounding them. I mean, just looking at this Scarred Veteran, you can see that his HP is dropping. Luckily, though, they do have some Blessed Temple Guard here. Actually, being able to hold the, uh, the gatehouse here pretty nicely. I'm impressed with how good they've actually done here. I, I assume they would be surrounded. And they do still have these Croxagors and you know, some lots more of these Feral Carnosaurs as well. This one does look like the Blessed Carnosaur is going to go down, but the Ancient One is still holding firm. And the Feral Carnosaur is going to go down one last time and actually get involved in the engagement. This right flank is obviously looking much, much better though for the for the Dark Elves. They're having a much easier time of it to actually overwhelm the defences. I 
And I'll try to put the sounds back on when we're maybe away from this wall. But it looks as if the sounds are still messing up. But maybe when the units get a little bit less clumped up. I don't, I don't really know because this was an issue in Warhammer 1 as well. And it's really frustrating. I don't know. Maybe it's not as bad. It's, it's kind of bad for me. But maybe it's not as bad for you guys. Malekith over here is actually down to a third health. If there's some easy like snipes going off here. We can maybe see the Malekith getting killed. But it does look like that the uh, Lizard Men are going to be retreating back, at least moving back to this secondary layer, um, if they can, to avoid a lot of the enemy forces. But it, again, as I was saying, like, it looks like that the, uh, the Dark Elves have been defeated on this left side. Or at least pushed back or, or held. I, I don't know. I feel like they just don't have enough to break through this. They maybe need some more Black Guard up here. They maybe need some more reinforcements, which I think they are getting. I think these reinforcements are making their way around. Or maybe not. Maybe they're going to wait until they defeat the rest of the Lizardmen over here before they really move into the city. And granted, they do have a lot of their elite cavalry still left to move in. Like, some of these Cold One Dark Knights would be great because these guys are armor-piercing. So they would be doing great against the heavily armored Lizardmen. Obviously, we also have a master as well, who is anti-large. So if he can get involved against some of these, you know, huge monsters, that would also be great. And there's still lots of healthy units. And obviously, all this cavalry as well, uh, which is still waiting just to be poured into the city. I mean, this cavalry will be so useful right now if they just move into the left flank and move through that wall. And they could hit all of these skinks right now, who are just doing so much damage to this black dragon who's just sitting there and taking it. The Skinks are having a field day right now at throwing. I mean, they've got some pretty impressive throwing arms to actually reach this high up, but... I mean, this thing is just losing so much HP. It really, really is, for, like, no reason. There we go. Finally, the dragon is being moved out of there. A smart move. And I'm still just waiting to see where this army is going, because it's finishing up just the last couple of units. There's a few kind of uh, javelins there, and we also have... What? What? Oh, these temple guards? Yeah, temple guards still holding the line, even though they are completely surrounded. There's only 35 of them left. But they are still fighting on hard. You cannot fault them for this strong hold of uh, the defense. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some of these witch elves coming in the back. Maybe they just feel like they don't need them. They don't need to kind of surround these guys. Because they're going to die eventually to the, uh, to the executioners. We make our way back here to the final, to the, I guess the second final stand right here. We have plenty of temple guard ready to hold. And Bath's power is still really even. Uh, which is surprising. I thought maybe that Bath's power, I mean, yeah, the Lizardmen look like they've really got the advantage here if I'm honest. Um, and the, the Dark Elves are really struggling. But they, they do have this line broken right here. If they can bring me around their forces, which is exactly what they're doing. This is really smart. And I'm really happy to finally see it uh, happen. Is moving around all this cavalry to hit these skinks. There's like a good, you know, what, 300 skinks just here. And they're about to have a really bad day. I'm also going to put the sound back up. Maybe, hopefully, um, it'll be a little bit better now. So hopefully it'll be a bit better now. If it does get bad again, I'll just turn it off and keep my own music. But it sounds like it's not glitching out too much. We're going to get one javelin throw off. However, the cavalry is going to run through these skinks. I can't imagine them holding firm whatsoever. This, we also have an ancient carnosaur though coming in to support these guys. However, these are cold one knights. They're not easily defeated. And we also do have that master who is anti-large as well. Who is get a huge armor piercing bonus and weapon damage right there. The Skinks are going to get the hell out of there as the Pterodon Riders continue to throw down their explosives on top of the Cavalry. I mean, the Cavalry is taking a lot of damage, but I mean, if they can just take out this, this, this ancient Carnosaur, that would be amazing for them because they've lost this Gatehouse on the left-hand side. The Cavalry is going to try and pull their way in, but they really have been defeated here. I'm surprised to see that. However, reinforcements have finally now arrived. I would have loved to have seen this quicker because of just how much trouble they were having over here. But with these reinforcements, they should easily be able to take care of these guys now. Especially with the amount of Black Guard who are turning up to the battle itself. These Black Guards should be more than enough to surround these guys. Like, kind of finish off the, the wounded uh, the wounded Carnosaurs. I guess that is easier said than done, though. These things just seem so strong. Especially now the javelins are also still shooting and getting a lot of damage off on the enemy. But yeah, hopefully with the support now, the artillery has actually been moved up in the city as well. That is an awesome move by this Dark Elf player to move this artillery into the fortress to use on the enemy. That's going to be a really, really smart move. More of the Black Guard coming in. And we're just going to finish off these Carnosaurs. There's a lot of wounded ones. I mean, this Carnosaur is on full HP. The dragon's moving in. The nice thing is about fighting these Carnosaurs 
is once they are out of control, there's pretty much nowhere for them to retreat. You know, once they've committed to this fight, they are committed to this fight. And they're not going to escape or get out anywhere. So once they've made their way into the fortress, they're pretty much here for life. The artillery still coming in. That's a nice little cu cu couple hits right there. We also have the master over here fighting against the coxicles. Again, he is anti-large, so I'm hoping he'll do an okay job. And he obviously also has support of the black dragon as well if he wants to come in. I imagine that's exactly what he's going to do. No, he's not. He's going to go ahead and decide to go after these skinks. Not a bad idea. And then we also have these shades with great swords coming down and finally tying down these uh, skinks. So I think the battle might be, you know, flipping on its head a little bit now. And we will be seeing the Dark Elves finally being able to break through. I mean, they did a great job on that left flank. It was just more on this right flank, which they really struggled with. However, it does look like, as I said, you know, the Carnosaurs starting to finally lose all their HP. We're also seeing a lot of these skinks being surrounded. So yeah, the walls have, the walls have taken a while ago, but the courtyard is finally being taken now. Uh, which is the, the real struggle that the Dark Elves had there. Carnosaur starting to go down. The Croxagore is coming in just for one little bit of support. I mean, the, the Carnosaur is still alive. Oh my god, someone just do the killing blow to it, please. We also actually see the General going down back here. What General went down? Oh, Malekith actually dying from the Dark Elves. What was he doing all the way back here? I have no idea what Malekith was doing back there. That was, that was not a smart move to have him back there. That's going to really hurt the Dark Elf morale. And all these weaker units are going to start to rout. Oh my god, someone just killed this Crox this this uh this Carnosaur and these Croctagors. They are so low. And if this thing comes back, it can maybe even get his regeneration back. The Great Souls are gonna try and be up to the task, but even them, you know, they're not anti-large. It's gonna take a little while to take that thing down. Luckily though, there's only three of these Croctagors left, and I think they are gonna be getting slaughtered now. Just a few more hits, I will and I think they will all go down. The gatehouse has finally been taken. No, the courtyard is so close to being taken. There's just some elite skink javelins left in the in the path of these Dark Elves. God, this has been an uphill battle the entire time for the Dark Elves. But at least now they can get in all this cavalry still left remaining. Um, I mean, it's been a bloody-ass battle as well, just looking at the walls themselves. You can really see the, the death that has gone on here as they've tried their best to, uh, to overwhelm these defenses and just really, really struggled. They just need to keep on pushing, but I believe now that they've whittled their forces down, they can really start to push in, and even if they don't have a lot of healthy units left, I think this this like, this like assault right here won't be too difficult, mainly because they can surround them really effectively, and once they surround them, I think that'll be doing plenty of damage. You can see they're even moving up their crossbows and stuff. Whatever missiles they have left are all making their way into the courtyard now. So I think this is a really, really smart move because if they can go ahead and just, you know, attack from every single angle, I think they can go have a really kind of an effective shock value and uh, help to really break the, uh, the Lizardmen forces nicely um, and really just take down their morale. Especially with the artillery coming in, the artillery is going to be harassing the front lines, doing a little bit of HP damage. And are we going to see these guys charging forward? We're actually going to... No, I think they should just hold their line. I think they're doing smart here, taking this damage... Maybe moving behind these walls would be a good idea, and I think that's exactly what we're going to be seeing. And the balance about has shifted back into the favor of, or not into the favor, but a little bit back towards the Dark Elves a little bit. However, they only have 600 men left. Oh no, they have, sorry, I'm mixing this up. The Lizard Men only have 600 men left, and the Dark Elves have 1,400. So they definitely have a number advantage, like they have a lot of soldiers. Um, so the Dark Elves could definitely still overwhelm this defense. And I think that's exactly what they're doing. You know, they've got a lot of these Black Guard, a lot of these elite units left. They honestly just need to bring them around. And almost just forget about this, this kind of little defense force right here. You know, just ignore them and focus down on surrounding them. Because they're going to have to come to you at some point in this battle. Now this is a really, weak, really weak defense. And I think honestly they need to get up here as quickly as they can with all this Black Guard. And not really worry about defending off against them. Because if they, they, they're going to have to come and try and attack you at some point. So just leave them close to the battle. We do have Croc Guard going up against this Black Dragon right now. And he's going to be supported by this Ancient Carnosaur. The Black Dragon is going to be getting the hell out of there as quickly as he can. As more and more of the defenses come flying in. And here we go. This is actually a really weak assault. 
I'm surprised. I feel like the Dark Elves are almost just wasting their men here by charging them in against these Witch Elves. Oh, against these Temple Guards, sorry. So I don't really see how the Temple Guard are going to be able to break upon these stairs, you know? Like, and, and actually get past them. But they're so weak already. I feel like the Temple Guard is just going to break these guys and then get, you know, just reforming it ready for the next assault. But, I mean, the main power is coming, obviously, from these Dark Elves right here. Some more skinks being broken. And, the, yeah, the Black Guard just needs to get around because this, this defense, I imagine, is not going to hold forever. Luckily, they are bringing around more and more soldiers right here. You have some of the Witch Rangers. Are these guys any good in melee combat? Because I don't think they have any ammunition left. They're good range here. They're just fire whilst, but fire whilst moving is actually really useful. But unfortunately, they have no ammunition left. Um, so they're going to just kind of be thrown in, but not really be that effective. We need more Black Guard here, because as you can see, the Lizardmen are just tearing through the defense. And, you know, this, this assault should have come maybe in, in like a minute's time when the rest of the Dark Elf forces have made their way around the side. Because as you can see, a lot of these guys are just simply falling back now. And that's just preemptively before these Dark Elves can even get their way in. We do have the archers over on this left flank again. I feel, I feel like the Dark Elves have just prematurely gone into this battle. If they would have waited, I think they had a real good chance. I mean, granted, they still have, you know, plenty of these units back here. But again, they're all really low HP. And the main force is coming from these Black Guard right here. You know, this is their main staying power. And we're pushing in these weaker units. Just to simply be routed. They're going to be broken down bit by bit. And you I mean, just look at the damage that that source old blood did there. He just threw like 10 of these uh, shards to the to the ground. We are finally going to be seeing more of a Black Guard though, making their way in to the battle. Finally, the Black Guard are up here. However, the uh, the uh, Temple Old Guard are going to be really strong. What are their stats even? I'm actually interested. Sorry, I should have looked at this before. They're just armored. Okay, nothing too crazy. I imagine their overall stats are pretty good. We're going to see more Black Guard moving in. But again, you know, just having a uh, Scar Veteran and uh, Crocker up here. It's going to be so deadly. Rest of the Black Guard have also made their way in. They're going to be trying their best to break through this. But again, I just don't, I just, just don't see how the Dark Elves can do it. They have the numbers, but I don't think they have the, uh, the, the staying power and the morale to really you know, keep these guys at bay and, and break the battle. But again, Black Guard are extremely good at killing anti-large, so... Especially with the support of the Dragon as well. I don't know, maybe. But I, I just feel like the damage that the, the Lizardmen can put out, and the, the staying power that the Lizardmen have, is just going to be way too strong. Again, a nice little explosion here, but again, it's just like you're kind of missing the biggest thing. It's probably better to have that further back, if anything else. The Dragon going in, and yeah, I, I honestly think we're going to see the Lizardmen coming out on top here. Dark Riders going up against the Ancient Carnosaur. As it just whips its tail back and forth. Doing plenty of damage. And I guess we'll just stay in here and watch the battle. It's a shame that we didn't get any engagements up here. It would have been cool to see the Lizard Men being pushed all the way back. And trying their best to hold off. But this is going to be the, uh, the battle right here. As the Croctogores just show their devastating power. By just hitting these guys left, right, and center. I mean, the Crocodiles are such a, a strong unit. And it was definitely a hard fought fight by the Dark Elves. It really, really was. Oh, the Dragon Fire coming in, but that's nice. I also hit a lot of the own Dark Elf units. It was definitely a very good fight by the Dark Elves. They just couldn't break through this left flank. And the support, I don't think, came quick enough from the other flank uh, where they did have success and break through. I mean, just look at the dead bodies right there. Definitely a hard fought fight, but just not enough in the end from the Dark Elves. I mean, I say that, who knows? They could actually come out on top, but the Bantz of Power is looking very much in the favor of the Lizard Men now. They have all these really, really healthy creatures. These, he these uh, Ancient Carnosaurs look so good. You know, so much HP on them. They have 12,000, and they've already lost a quarter of their HP. The Crocodile's coming around the side again. Just finishing up what remains of these Witch Elves. So do make sure to comment down below what factions you want to see take fights in these custom map battles, as well as giving me ideas. But if you see a cool custom map battle, make sure to go ahead and tell me. 
and I'll be sure to do it. I do really apologize about the sound issues we had in this battle as well. Uh, they did seem to clean up, clean up, but around that gatehouse, it was just really, really bad, which was super frustrating. But hopefully I put some cool music over the top anyway, so that wasn't too bad. Some more dragon fire coming in. Actually, almost getting the Saurus Old Blood down, but he has popped his cold blood. He's, he's an old blood popping his cold blood, and he's going to be trying to get a bit of HP. Luckily, dodging that, uh, that, that missile coming in. Oh, nice. He has a homing missile right there, but it's just not enough to kill him, and he's going to get the head out of there. He's gonna, as long as he stays alive, that's all that matters. And the rest of the Dark Elves, you know, are going to be mass routed, I think. Nice little missile right there coming off by Krokgar. I think we're going to see the entire Dark Elf force just straight up routing. There's hardly any of them left. I I'm impressed that they actually made it this long. And they almost managed to capture the first victory plaza, but just didn't manage to overwhelm the defenses enough. And now it's going to be a huge route, a mass route for the Dark Elves. You can see all of their forces getting the hell out of there. Their dragon, their Malekith is retreating as well. And that is going to be the battle. So that was really awesome. I love the, the heavy fight for the walls and gate. And then finally falling back for this last plaza. So I'm looking forward to seeing who got a lot of kills. Um, if we take a look, we can see the general getting 129. That was pretty nice. The Hydra, the dragon doing okay. The Hydra just seeming to get taken out by a lot of them javelins early on. And the black guard and the executioners doing pretty decently. Um, just not managing to support the other flank, I don't think. Then if we look at Goatman's forces, we can see that his Malekith doing pretty good and his Executioners. I mean, Executioners are such a good unit to use and they seem like they're doing a great job against the Temple Guard. Then if we look at the Lizardmen forces, we can again see you know, a lot of damage on these elite Temple Guard um, along with a lot of damage on these Croxagor's Berserkers. Wow. 288 kills is pretty impressive. Finally, looking at the other Lizardmen army, we can see that they also have some decent kills on these elite skink javelins. You know, obviously just getting so much damage off as well on the monsters. And then finally, the Ancient Carnosaurs getting 157 kills. Pretty impressive. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this battle. If you did, make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. And fish out.